Did you know Hello Kitty was a Gundam once? <laughs> You'd think I'd be making this up, but no, it happened. To those who don't know, Hello Kitty is a Japanese mascot character created by Sanrio, basically Japanese Disney. Outside of that, most people will probably know them for their Netflix original anime series, Agretzko. But we're not here to talk about Office Space for kids, we're talking about Evangelion for kids. Honestly, there's not a whole lot I found in the making of this character or anything, it's mainly just Hello Kitty, but a superhero. There's even this 13-page manga on the character that was actually pretty damn hard to find. Oh, the manga doesn't even have a Mal page. The only reason I found out about it was because back in 2019, my coworker found this image online, and upon looking up Hello Kitty Mecha, I eventually tracked it down. However, as of this video, there really isn't much I can say about it, except that the art it looks absolutely beautiful and detailed. It's a pretty basic superhero mecha story, but it's an impressively detailed one. Which only begs the question, why wasn't this pushed for more? I honestly doubt nobody would be into a more Saturday morning-esque series on this, even if it was just a manga. The argument could be because it's not original enough to be a series, but originality isn't everything when it comes to a successful series. A good example of this is Love After World Domination, a series that basically said, what if Power Rangers, but they dated. If I had to take a wild guess, I'd say that the company just moved on to other stuff, honestly. Out of curiosity, I took a quick look, and there are far more characters under the Sanrio name than I initially thought, and most people that aren't in Japan probably really only know the big two. I guess when you really think about it, they don't really need to rely on something like Hello Kitty but Mecha, when they've got over 500 characters to profit from. So maybe it was a neat idea that just never took off. But I mean, I'm just saying. This is a fucking gold mine. Why isn't there a Netflix original anime on this by now?